Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. Today we've got a review. It comes from Tripping Animals, and I'm super pumped because I just realized it's in collaboration with Equilibrium. If you've been on my channel, you know I love Equilibrium. Before we get into this beer, though, just think about hitting that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate it. So, uh, without further ado, this is going to be Trippin' Loose. This is a double IPA with Galaxy, Enigma, and Marshmallow. 8.5%, and this was canned on June 22nd. So, just a little over a month old. Uh, that's about five weeks old, something like that. Really excited to get into this one. I've had several beers from Tripping Animals at this point. They do some great stuff, and uh, God, we know Equilibrium does some great stuff. Um, I got a single of this. I'm the, <laughs> it's still got the sticker on it. $25 for a four pack. It's outrageous. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this poured here. I am so pumped that it's an Equilibrium collab. It's looking real nice. All right, tripping loose with this nice kangaroo with hops coming out of his pouch and marshmallows. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Really cool label. All right, let's uh, take a look at the appearance first. So yeah, it comes in a kind of a different type of, kind of an odd color, a little bit darker. Um, kind of a deep orange, deep gold type of color. About a finger's worth, bright white head. Eh, it's a little bit more off white, I guess you could say. Soap sudsy type of head, dissipating. Completely hazy though. All right, let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. Ooh, that's got an interesting aroma. Ooh, I'm getting the marshmallow. I feel like I'm getting like almost a. Um, Almost like a lime type of thing, like key, almost key lime pie, like with the uh, with the marshmallows, kind of like lending it like almost like a vanilla sweetness. Oh man, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm getting lime, a lot of lime, uh, maybe even like a little bit of like a bright, uh, like slightly underripe melon. Not a lot of citrus going on for, for a change here. I feel like it's underripe, like melon type of fruit. Um, like I said, like maybe it's like a key or a key lime, like a lime, kiwi even. Um, like I feel like it almost has like lemon lime even, like a Sprite type of thing going on I'm not getting any pine any dankness if anything there's like a sweet bready malt but it's got a very different hop flavor and I'm assuming see galaxy enigma and marshmallow I'm assuming it's the enigma I'm not super familiar with enigma I know I've had it on several occasions but uh, it's not standing out in my head of as far as like tasting notes or, or aroma Yeah, the pineapple, uh, it's got a little bit of pineapple, so maybe that's coming more from the uh, galaxy. There's a little tiny earthiness to it. Hmm. It smells really good. It just smells different, so I'm excited to get into this one. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Cheers. It's different, but at the same time, it's like almost what I expected. It's very different. This is not your typical hazy IPA. This hop combo is very different, uh, at least for me. I'm definitely getting the marshmallow. It comes across like a little bit of vanilla. Definitely lemon lime. I mean, it's just 100% there. I mean, it's just what I'm getting. It almost has like 
think about biting into a lemon or a lime and getting the peel with it. It's got that going on. Like, I guess you could call that a bitterness in a way. It's got like a pithy type of bitterness, but it's like lemon lime pithiness. It's got a bright um, melon type of note, though. Got a little bit of sweet pineapple kind of floating around in there. There is a bit of a... The only thing I could think to really compare it to would be almost a little bit green. And I'm thinking in the terms of like, um, like bell pepper even. Like just like that type of like vegetal type of quality. Um, that's kind of on the aftertaste. This beer's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm not picking up any of the alcohol. It's not boozy, uh, but it does have a sweetness. It kind of rides throughout, lingers a little bit in the back. But a um, little bit of bitterness. I wouldn't say it completely balances it out because it's definitely leaning more on the sweet side for me. Um, you know, I <laughs> I don't want to say I'm disappointed in the beer. I'm not. It's, it's really tasty, but... Um, I don't know. This just hop combo is different. Uh, it really is. It's good though. It's tasty. Mouthfeel medium, somewhere around there. Not the most creamy mouthfeel I've ever had. Um, man, collabs. It seems like they're more. And like, see, and this is again. I don't want to call it a miss. I don't think they missed on this. But a lot of times, I think collabs, honestly, are just done um, just to like use it, be used as a marketing uh, type of tactic, just to get people to go out and get the beer because it's got two big breweries in it. But um, a lot of times, they don't necessarily, you know, hit uh, 100%. So, uh, but anyway, this is a tasty beer. Um, you know, as far as a rating goes on this one, I would probably. <clears throat> I mean, I'm thinking just somewhere around a 3.9, 3.95. Let's just go there. Um, hell, let's just round, round it up to a 4 uh, and, and just leave it there. Um, tasty. Probably wouldn't seek it out again. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, you know, it, it's if I saw it somewhere like on tap or something, I would definitely pick it up again. But... Um, I guess I could just say I wouldn't go buy a four pack of it. Let's leave it at that. Uh, I think a single, possibly a one more single, would be okay. But um, yeah, decent beer. So we'll leave it at that, a four. Um, let me know if you've had this one from Tripping Animals and Equilibrium. Uh, this again is Tripping Loose, and it was uh, hopped with Galaxy and Enigma and Marshmallow. So um, decent beer. Uh, but anyway, if you liked the video, do me a favor hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Whatever you feel inclined to do, I would appreciate it. We'll see you in the next review. Cheers.